is going on Slump Busters? Your boy Andrew Hagenball here back with another waiver wire video. We have a good one for you guys today. So let's just jump right into the waiver wire ads for week 13. Let's start off with the quarterbacks. So the first waiver wire quarterback that we have is Tua Tagovailoa versus the New York Giants. He's only 43% owned, but Tua is starting to come around a little bit. He's been playing very well these last couple of games and he's starting to get his stride. So Tua with a very easy defense coming up. I really like how he's been playing again like these last couple of weeks. Him and Jalen Waddle have been playing fantastic together. I, I like Tua here in week 13. Number two, I have Taylor Heineke, who's only 40% owned there's not too many quarterbacks out there that's worthwhile getting uh taylor heineke if he's available and you need him in a super flex league i would say go and get him and the third and final quarterback i have is teddy bridgewater versus kansas city bridgewater is only 26 percent owned in leagues deep league super flex league whatever or if you have a bye week quarterback he's a guy to get he's playing against kansas city who allows the fourth most points to quarterbacks so uh, he's definitely a guy i would be looking out for if you need that bye week pickup or if you need you know a super flex quarterback immediately uh, i would definitely go with teddy bridgewater here so let's move on to the running backs the first running back I have is Alexander Madison. He's playing Detroit in week 13. He's 55% owned so if he's available go get him because Dalvin Cook went down with an injury. Uh, it looks pretty serious as he had to be carted off so not looking too good for Dalvin Cook. This could spell a couple weeks out so definitely be looking for Alexander Madison to be heavy on the waiver wire. If he is there quickly go up and grab him. Madison number one right here for the running backs. Number two is Chuba Hubbard. Now I know he's got a a bye week this week he's only 49 percent owned but again christian mccaffrey tweaked his ankle and we all know how it goes with christian mccaffrey this could be a whole season injury where he's done for the rest of the year so chuba hubbard is more of a long-term kind of guy depending on the news with christian mccaffrey if it is long term then chuba hubbard is the go-to guy to get uh, he played very well when christian mccaffrey is out I don't see anything different. And then the last running back I have is Jamal Williams from Detroit. He's playing against Minnesota. He's 37% owned again. DeAndre Swift left early in the game on Thanksgiving with an injury. Jamal Williams took the bulk of the carries and he played pretty well. Again, I see him, depending on what happens with DeAndre Swift, getting the lead role. Uh, Jamal Williams would be a great guy to add. Our first wide receiver is Van Jefferson. He's playing Jacksonville. He's 55% owned. But again, he's been becoming more involved in this Rams offense. The Rams did add Odell Beckham Jr. from my Cleveland Browns, unfortunately, but he's got an easy matchup. Go out and get him. If you need a flex guy, he could be up for a big game with Cooper Cup. Uh, the second one is LaVishka Chenault from, again, the Jacksonville Jaguars playing the Rams. He's only 50% owned. The only reason why I'm saying get him is because he's got no uh, DJ Shark, no Jamal Agnew. He's out now. So LaVisca Chanel is basically the number one wide receiver in Jacksonville. At a clear cut wide receiver one. So if LaVisca Chanel is available, I'd definitely be going in the waivers to go and grab him. And lastly for the wide receivers is AJ Green from Arizona. He's playing Chicago and he's again 50% owned. Again with Kyler Murray getting ready to come back. Even with uh, DeAndre Hopkins in the lineup, AJ Green has been effective. He's been utilized. So again, he's a guy that I would go out and grab because even with DeAndre Hopkins, he is going to be effective. He will get some usage and he could spell some good things for your team. Again, with Kyler Murray coming back too, that would make him even better. So definitely AJ Green is a guy to look out for. Let's move on to our tight end. We have one tight end, one defense. The tight end I have is Cole Komet from Chicago, again, playing Arizona. 27% owned and Cole Komet is becoming more involved in that Bears offense. Uh, you start seeing Dalton use him a lot, uh, especially during this Thanksgiving game. He was used quite a bit. Uh, he had a big game there. Uh, Justin Fields, if he comes back soon, he's going to be looking to use Cole Komet. Uh, Cole Komet is just becoming a big part of this Bears offense now as of late. So he's a guy that I would target for a streaming option. And then lastly, our defense. This one shouldn't be too difficult because our defense is the Colts 45% owned uh, again this is more of just matchup based but guys thank you so much for tuning in to this week 13 waiver wire video be sure you guys check out our sponsor cavemancoffeecode.com don't be a chump use promo code slump and as always guys I will see you next time peace